This is Cooking Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm joined by Steel! Let's do European champion, motherfucker! <laughs> How do you feel right now, Tommy McCarthy, defending your title? Six round stoppage, man. You gotta be, you gotta be fly, man. Ain't no thing, baby, you know. It's all in the gravy. Six rounds, baby. And, yeah, you know, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling nice. So let's talk normal cooking. Do you want me to talk Irish? That's right. Do you want me to talk Irish? Are you talking English with an Irish accent? Do you want to talk Irish? My Irish sounds Asian, but anyway. Just want to say a big moi who to me. And, you know, big moi who to the team, all the sponsors. My who or Garmila my August the my sponsors. Uh Mulholland Law, Aircore, EJC Contractors, Lux Interiors, O'Neill's Funeral Directors, the stuff again, aka the Swilly Brin, Peak Physique and Northern Property. Garmila my August, thanks for all the support. Let's keep it going. But yeah. I'm massively impressed that you could reel all that off without looking at anything or anything. Brilliant. Ain't no thing, baby. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Sixth round stoppage over Alexandra Jua tonight. Assess for me your performance. You know, it was a good performance. Um, still plenty to build on, but like, as I've been saying all week, I was expecting them to come out and, you know, give me a really tough test. But after I dropped them in the fourth round with a body shot, it came around into survival mode. So um, it was, I had to kind of break them down. But I'm delighted with myself, you know, get the, get a stoppage win and move on, onwards and upwards. Absolutely, there wasn't loads that kind of the fans knew about Jewel tonight, and um, same yeah, same with yourself, we spoke about this the other day, but there wasn't loads that we could kind of take from, but you had a job to do tonight, you did it, and that's in the past now almost, yeah. moving on. Yeah, you know, there wasn't, as you said, there's not millions of footies on them. Well, um, I found them on Instagram, went and had a creep. He looked like he was training like a maniac. Flan and sparring partners and all. I was going, Jesus, this guy means business. And then in the interviews, he said, I didn't see nothing special. He was here to win. He looked like he was in good shape. So, you know, I was switched on and ready for the best that he had to offer. And the best that he had to offer wasn't good enough. So he came up short. But fair play to him, respect all fighters and that. But I'm just, I'm just improving all the time. Different level. It's all about levels. Levels, you know. <laughs> um, let's talk about Mr. Hearn's tweet that he put out quite publicly tonight. Um, yourself and Chris Billum Smith, who we spoke about a couple of days ago, but you were very respectful to the fact that you were fighting Drew and you said a couple of words, but that was it. But it's on for fight camp. You know, it's on a problem. Chris Billum Smith finally is getting what he asked for. You've been, you've been begging for his ass whipping for a long time, brother, and it's coming to you, you know, payday, you want payday, and it's just going to be McCarvey 2, McGuigan Camp 0, because she ain't got slapped the word back in the day, and now Bill and Smith getting slapped the word, so you guys keep them talking, writing, your most writing checks that you ass can't cash, brother, puppet, puppet boy, I'm sick, I'm sick of the bullshit. Uh, you know, I don't ever talk. I don't ever talk about it. I'm all about having a crack and, and having a laugh and all. Chris Billum Smith hasn't shut up about me for about three months. I don't even know this guy. You know, I wouldn't like to show a shower with him for fuck's sake. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Just worry about yourself. Stop worrying about me, cause yeah, you know, this is I said enough. He's getting it in July. Like I said, four clumps, big Tommy Mac. You see them, boy. You are getting it. Well, listen, it's a, it's a brilliant fight that's been announced. We don't know a date yet, but we know it could be one of three potential dates uh, over July and August. So, great fight. We look forward to it. You know I always want to involve your team because you have a lot of respect for the guys yeah. that you work with. So, guys, please come in. Oh, come in, everyone, including you, Tom. This is a winning team, you know. And I'm going to give the mic to you, and you just oh, do, what you, you do what you want to do. Okay. So you're here with Tommy Mac, a.k.a. the Mac Attack. And we're going to start off with Tommy first, because he's to my right. Tommy done a bandages, a fantastic job, stellar job as always. How did you feel about the performance, T? 
best I've seen as a pro. Best I've seen you perform. Physique, everything. You look the best I've seen you in a long, long time. I haven't seen you perform like that since the amateurs. Um, long may it last. I have credit to everyone involved. Strength and conditioning, Pete Taylor, the whole team, Mark getting into the fights. And you putting the walk in. Well done. <laughs> That's all you had to say, brother. Let's go. Right? Mark Dunlop, the best manager in the whole world of boxing, who has took me from... Zero to hero. <laughs> Tommy Mack has went from zero to hero, and believe me, he is the hero of Belfast now. There's no doubt about that. As I say, he's the only one in Ireland this time. Has a major title, I know. Anthony Gacacci is also a good friend of Tommy's, he's British champion, but you know, Tommy is one fight away from you know, a world title, and that's the bottom line of it all. And you know, there's obviously a bit of beef there, which this kid's brought on himself. And, uh, I don't really normally get involved in all as you say, but like, where's respect? Like, I mean, like every time that that kid has has uh, you know fought anybody decent, he's been in for a tough night or got beat. So you know, he's never had to go away. The only time he did go away, he got beat again, so or he lost that yeah, one fight. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. So basically, stop running your gums, Chris Williamson. And then last but not least, Pete Taylor, who. Is an absolute legend, the best coach in boxing. Pete, what did you think of the performance? Brilliant performance, and um, I sing. wish, uh, I wish you, singer, I wish you, Joe, had come and, and tried to put it on Tommy a little bit more because he'd, he'd prepared for this so well, you know, and it, because your man was so negative, he didn't have a chance to even show what he could do. But it was a brilliant performance, and every performance has got better and yeah. better. And he's going to be even better against Brendan Smith. Yep. Whenever he stepped up the gear, well, it was over. It was over. Yeah, he's going to be unbeatable. Can't wait for the fight. Looking forward to it. Yeah, so we're all ready to rock. Um, Coogan, we'll have to shout out quickly a couple more people from behind the scenes. But now Bart, Screamer, all the lads, Mark Kennedy, and also, yes, Don, also. Shout out my cousin Lloyd on the strength conditioning, Stephen Floyd on the nutrition, and all the lads and ladies who's been supporting me. And yeah, we'll, we'll go back to the gym in about 10 days. Monday. <laughs> Seven, <laughs> Seven days. <laughs> and yeah, man, everything cook and curry and yeah. <laughs> well, listen. Tommy McCarthy and Team McCarthy, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Congratulations on retaining your European title tonight. And uh, yeah, listen, roll on fight camp. Great fight. I'm sure a lot will be said before and after, but... I won't say too much, really, because I'm concentrate on my training. But right now, you'll get, you'll get, you'll get all mad quotes now, because I concentrate. I take this game serious. I'm so sincere when it comes to boxing, you know what I mean? You'll not be getting paid any more money to, uh, you know. Yeah, to promote it. Exactly. So I'm not going to waste my time and energy doing all that talking. But, yeah, looking forward to it. And go. trolls, go easy on me. I gave you loads. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, congratulations. We'll definitely catch up with you again soon. And uh, go and enjoy the rest of your night. Yes. Peace. Love, everyone. Love, Isla Uno. <laughs>